Hey, what's cooking? Good looking. I am here with a wantable box opening, and every large truck in the city has insisted on driving by. In addition to which, it's very humid, and my hair is like Frizz Master Flash. That's what they're going to start calling me because I am the Frizz Master. Um, but nonetheless, I, I had to be uh, downtown this morning to do a couple of TV segments for a campaign that I am the face of for Big Brothers Big Sisters of Halifax. And uh, since I was all made up already, I thought I'd jump on and do my wantable box opening because this came in last week. This is my third wantable box and I'm so far happy with the first two. A, be a beautiful new thing. <clears throat> I'll take the cards out saying what it is and the foam that protects it. Looks like I have four products. Oh, I'm happy and bummed. I saw online that there was going to be a Trina Tarantino product included and I'm a huge Trina Tarantino fan and since her products have left um, Sephora it's really hard for me to get my hands on them up here in Canada. I was kind of hoping for an eyeshadow quad so my initial thing when I saw this was disappointment, but it shouldn't be disappointment because I had, had, I had her entire brush collection in my wish list on Sephora when she disappeared from Sephora and I never did get a single one. So now I can happily say I have my first Trina Tarantino eyeshadow brush. You'll see why I wanted one. They're beautiful pink, lovely hot pink. This is the um, 43 pigment brush and it's really lovely and stiff and this really nice silicone envelope that it came in so that's actually pretty cool got an Ofra product this is blush B29 and it looks like that it's kind of a natural apricot and then underneath here it has a mirror it's kind of cute Oh, I've seen, I've seen this in some Ipsy boxes or something like this, but I never got one. It is the Mica Beauty Cosmetics, and it's one of these, you pull the top off and there's a brush in here, so you can just do that, and then the whole top becomes your brush. And it is, it looks like, let me just get my fingers in there, yeah, it's a, a cream shadow, and it's in the color Caramel. So that's kind of neat, and it's a full-size product. All the things in the Wantable box are full-size. And the final, final item is from a company called Mirabella. It's a Mirabella lip color. Let me just get it out of the box. Oh, lovely. It's really, really heavy, and it kind of reminds me of the uh, Laura Mercier lip bullets. And this is in the color Collected. Oh, cool, which is a really, really nice pinky-brown nude. Cool. So four items in the Wantable box this month, but all full-size items, and I'm so happy to finally have a Tarina Tarantino brush. Be cool if you give me a new brush in every box for the next few months so I could have the full collection. Think about it. All right. So yeah, I'm still enjoying my Wantable box. I still think um, in terms of product for what you pay, the Ipsy bag is still tops for me because that is like a $10 subscription. I think in Canada it works out to like $11 or $12 a month. And you get full-size items. This you always get four to five full-size items, but this is I think $30, $38 a month, something like that. So i um, still liking it, but still think Ipsy Glam Bay is the tops. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if you are subscribed to this box and what you think of it, and um, I'll talk to you in the next one. Until then, love yourself, love one another. Bye.